hey guys uh, so it's 6 am right now and today we are going to make a retro gaming console this package mostly contains everything i need for this project this is from robo.in and i will leave a link in the description for everything i use in this video and i don't know if they transport overseas but if you are anywhere in india they will hook you up so let's go to our items so first of all we have a raspberry pi zero it has a micro usb for power micro usb for data transfer a mini hdmi and this is for sd card we have a case for pi zero We have an OTG cable, this will be used for uh, putting in pen drives, controllers and keyboard. We have a female HDMI to mini HDMI. We have a HDMI to HDMI cable. I am making this console for my cousin, his TV supports HDMI, my monitor doesn't. So I will be using this HDMI to VGA. Now the problem is that HDMI transfers both video and sound but uh, VGA can only deliver video. So when I will test it on my monitor there will be no sound. But that's alright, uh, at the end there will be sound because my cousin will be using this. We have a SD card adapter, I am using an SD card of 16 GB storage and this is of class 4 if you have a class 10 one it will be better but class 4 will work just fine you will also need a pen drive so here it is this will be used for transporting rooms uh, from our PC to the Raspberry Pi and finally we need a charger I am going to use my Motorola phone charger this will work just fine so so let's move on to the software side alright so the first thing we need is RetroPy uh, image so I am going to search RetroPy and download the first link is the one you want to click and here you can choose for which version of Raspberry Pi you want it I am using Raspberry Pi 0 so I am going to download this I have already downloaded this so I am not do going to do it again but this is the one you need if you are using Raspberry Pi 0 next thing that we need is a SD card formatter and we will use one from SD association you search for SD association here is the memory card formatter I've also downloaded this, so I'm not going to do it again. But you can uh, select your platform, Windows or Mac, and download that. So, one thing that you might be wondering is why not uh, just format it like this? Go here and format this. So, the problem is that I've already flashed uh, Red Drop Pi in this previously, and uh, the thing is, if I format it like this the size the original size won't be displayed in the memory card so for that you need a uh, external application such as SD formatter so let me go and just format it SD card formatter so here it is it has already selected my uh, memory card the capacity showing is full unlike if you perform it from uh, directly quick format boot yes okay uh, one thing that you should note is that we want to fat 32 only and it is by default fat 32 so that's all right and for flashing the retro pi will need a uh, balena as HO for it is pronounced something like that I think the software's name is Etcher and it is by Belena. So you have to download it from here, download for Windows 64, 64-bit. 64 I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. And 
So let's go and flash our image. Boolean so, edge. Okay, so first thing we have to do is select the image. So I'm going to click on select image and go to retro. Okay, so let's go back. Here's the retro Pi 4.4 for Raspberry Pi 0. Open this. Our SD card is already uh, selected. If you want, you can go and change you if you have multiple cards and then you can flash. So this is going to take some time, I think about uh, 5 to 10 minutes. I'm going to skip this part. So RetroPie has been flashed now. Uh, now we will uh, take our SD card and plug it in our Raspberry Pi 0. Also we have to set up our controller that is a uh, keyboard right now. So here's the setup. Uh, we have our mini HDMI to female HDMI connected to my HDMI to VGA. We have a charger here and in the OTG I have my wireless controller for keyboard. So I am going to power this on now and this will take some time to set up. So now it is asking for a gamepad and I am going to hold a button in my keyboard. So it detected my keyboard and now we have to set up the controls. So you just follow the uh, control keys and just set up your keyboard. So our keyboard configuration is done, now let's set up our pen drive and we don't need to close this, let this uh, Raspberry Pi run. For our pen drive first we have to format it with FAT32. So I'll go here and format FAT32 start. When this is complete. Uh, all we have to do is create an empty folder with the name of RetroPie. And now let's eject it and put it in our Raspberry Pi. Just push in the pen drive and then remove it okay now plug in your uh, pen drive back into your laptop or PC and you'll see that in your RetroPie folder there are new directories so uh, this is ROMs here you will put in your games of different consoles and in BIOS you will put in BIOS so let's go and do that so I've opened this side by side here in our rooms I'm going to have like four consoles for this video we have a Game Boy Advance Nintendo Entertainment System PlayStation 1 Super Nintendo uh, Entertainment System so let's go here ROMs and in GBA let's put in Pokemon Ruby in NES let's put Mario Bros is it copy or will it okay this has copied in PlayStation 1 We'll have Tony Hawk 
close keto for so i think this will take some time because this is a big game and in snes we'll have teenage mutant ninja turtles tournament fighters So uh, you have to go through the readme of every console to know which format of file will be acceptable. Some consoles such as SNES accept zip files, PSX doesn't uh, accept zip files so you have to go through that. And if you don't have ROM, uh, you can go online and search for them. Um, yeah, you can just search for them. Another thing is that for GBA, uh, according to GitHub repo, that for Raspberry Pi 0, we need a BIOS. It won't run. So I have the BIOS here. Let's extract it. For this also, you can just search online. You will find it in the first link. So view in BIOS. There is no specific folder, so you, you can just paste in here. This is done. Let's wait for our Tony Hawk. And this is also done. So I'm going to now uh, safely eject this and put it back in the Raspberry Pi. If your pen drive has a blinking light, it will be better because uh, we'll be able to know that when the process of copying ROMs from pen drive to SD card is done. I don't have a blinking pen drive, so I'll just have to wait. I will have to do some guesswork and then I will uh, take back the pen drive and insert my keyboard controller. It's been about 10 to 12 minutes, so I am taking back my pen drive. Insert my keyboard controller. Now we have to restart our emulation station. And now as you can see that all our consoles, our four consoles are available. We have Game Boy Advance, Nintendo, Playstation and Super Nintendo. So let's go and play some games. I really don't know how to play this. Sorry. 